even loud out there. Hi guys! Welcome back to another video. Hi Ben. Can you say hi? Hi! <laughs> ben says hello. No, you can't have my breakfast. So, I'm having breakfast. Um, I don't have anywhere to put my phone, so I'm going to get back to you about my day and what's going on a little bit later. Um, but on my other first day of school vlogs, I start at breakfast and it felt wrong not to. So I'm having breakfast. Unfortunately, I don't have anywhere to put you. So when I finish breakfast, I'm at my desk. We'll talk about the day. So we'll be back. Hello, I am back. I have had my breakfast. Pups are gone. They have been dealt with. Now it's time to actually start doing schoolwork. Um, this is very strange. Um, so last year, my junior year, I took a summer class. At my school, there are two summer sessions. One is seven weeks right after school ends, and one is seven weeks right before the next school year starts. So last year, my junior year, I took a summer class during the second session, so I had already been doing schoolwork, so I felt pretty good walking into it. This year, I did something similar, except I took a summer class in the first session, so I've had a nice summer break. Um, but it's weird to just jump right back into it. <laughs> um, so if you've never had a college class before and this is the first thing you're watching to kind of get an idea of what to expect. Um, the first week is usually the first week is usually fairly chill. Most professors are understanding, especially freshman year, that you're trying to adjust to get back into things. It's brand new, and so they give you like a week to kind of get used to it, and then the next week you're going in with all your coursework. So this week I don't expect too too much. It'll be a lot of reading the syllabus. Very important thing to do. Please read your syllabuses. So bye. Syllabuses? Is it pearl? What is a pearl or syllabus? I have no idea. Oh well. <laughs> but yeah, you read the syllabus. I am an online student, so a lot of my classes are going to be like you just introduce yourself and usually they want you to ha say a fun fact what your major is uh why you're taking this course things like that um and just kind of perusing through uh whatever system your school is using for coursework my school uses brightspace um and so i know it pretty well so for me that's not too big of a deal but as a freshman, definitely nice to be able to walk through a brand new schooling system to figure out like how to use it and kind of what's going on. So yeah, today I am probably going to spend a decent chunk of time reading my syllabuses whoever the plural that is, um, and putting all of my assignments in a spreadsheet. So again, if you've never had a syllabus uh, because your school never did that, basically it lays out all of your teacher's rules and expectations for the class, uh, usually has like their attendance policy, late work policy, things like that. All great things to read. Even loud out there. Um, but 
what most professors will do, they will put the sharpshooter bang. Ooh. Most professors will actually write down all of their class assignments for the entire semester. Um, and it'll be broken down by weeks. So if you have a reading you need to do, a paper due, a quiz, things like that, it'll all be laid out. Not all professors do this, but most do. Um, so what I do when I read the syllabus is I go through, I find that section, and I start writing down on a spreadsheet um, all of my assignments. And then once those are all down, I organize them by um, date and then I split them into weeks. So I have week chunks of all of my assignments. But yeah, another thing I do is I have a physical planner. Um, this is a lot less specific. <laughs> Um, so on the spreadsheet, it'll have the exact assignments due. On here, it's more of everything I want to get done in my whole day. Um, I really like it. It works really well for me personally. Uh, when I have all the things I need to do in a day in my head, it can become very overwhelming and I don't get any of it done. But when I have it written out, I can see the workload and I can also prioritize certain things so like I bake my own bread right now which I love so I have written on it Wednesday I'm gonna run out so Wednesday I need to make more I also like this one specifically because it has like a little meal plan section that's this little bottom section here uh, so I can write down like my lunches because that's the hardest for me. I just write down a bunch of things I could have based on what we have on the house. On the house, in the house, that's what I meant to say. Um, then there's another little section. It's like a little prompt section. I don't do the prompt. I write down all the big events happening for me in the week. So like on it, it says like classes start, uh, just as an example. Um, so I like to write those down so I have them. And then there's a notes section, and in the notes section I write down seven goals for the week that I want to do. Uh, so one of them is of course to bake bread like I had said before, but another one is to not work over 20 hours. So between all of the work that I do, it should take me about five hours a day. And I work four days a week, so that's about 20 hours. So I just don't want to work over the 20 hours. But yeah. I will check in a little bit later, probably at the exact same angle, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will check in later with my progress, how things are going, and yeah. Catch you then. Exact same angle. Blah exact same angle almost two hours later i have now finished my syllabus work me and my mom have somewhere to be this afternoon so for me this is kind of it for work i might do some writing i'm gonna have lunch but yeah it's pretty chill the first week um not a lot happens Because there are other things today that I don't want to film, and this video is pretty short right now, oh my god, I'm actually going to film multiple days. So today was Monday, I will see you tomorrow for Tuesday to give a look at what kind of my whole week, that first week looks like, because I think that's more interesting. Hey, it's Tuesday. Um. So today has been a little rough, um, unfortunately I woke up with a rash, a few itchy spots, so I've been dealing with that this morning, but I wanted to come 
but I definitely wanted to film because I think this is a perfect ex example as to why I am an online student. As you can see, I'm in my bed and I can kind of try and show you my setup here. So I have my laptop. I have it on like a little raised thing so that it's more like up straight. You can see it's more up straight so it's easier for me to use. I have my mouse here and a little lap desk. Switch back down. Um support. Yeah, this is one of the best things about being an online student is I usually start at about 10 with my work. It's 11 now and I'm just starting. Um, so I was able to take an extra hour this morning and take care of what I was going through. I'm still kind of going through it, but I'm at a point now where I can actually sit down and do some work. So it's really nice that I can I don't have to be at a class at a certain time or anything. I can start my work whenever I need to. And I, my goal today is to get through as much work as I can. And then when I'm done, I'm done. Um, I'm not putting too much pressure on myself to work. Like and do a certain amount of task. I have like a limit. I have a certain set amount of work I want to do that's even and fared for the rest of the week, but if I don't complete it, I don't complete it. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so yeah. It sucks to have to go through this and be in pain, but it's also really nice to be able to have the flexibility to not have to go to a class in person when I'm not feeling well um, and to kind of be able to dictate my own schedule yeah sorry I'm kind of out of it um, yeah I was gonna film a little bit more today talk about my classes and all that but because I'm not doing super well I think I'm just gonna end the video here bit of a short vlog but I think it was pretty realistic um some days are like yesterday where I get lots of work done I'm feeling super productive I'm really proud of myself and other days are like this where I'm gonna get whatever work I get done done today and that's okay too um if you have a disability and you're struggling to get your work done just remember to give yourself a little bit of grace and understand that when you're not 100%, you shouldn't expect yourself to get 100% of your work done. Yeah. So I'm gonna go. Uh, a bit of a sad end to this little vlog, but it's how it ended up. Um, can't exactly predict this. So thank you so much for watching my last first day of school, still absolutely crazy, and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye!